Hey, doing Facebook live videos aren't easy or are they? As you know, you need the lighting. What else you need? The, the, the sound to be really, really good. What else? To have a good signal. Because if you're just going like this with your other phone, with your phone and there's no good signal, so what do you think? The videos are never gonna come out good. So remember that you need this. You need the lightning, you need the good sound, and you need the good signal. You don't want any kids running around messing up your video, all right? Hey, hey, you forgot something. My name is Jesus Ortiz. I'm the creative director of Jera D Media, and we are gonna help you plan your videos and script your videos and scrape your video so you don't have to worry about anything man you have to relax knowing that your video will look good in these hands <laughs> all right hey do not let that not do not let another day go by without promoting your business professionally all right so what you waiting for i'm ready sign up now i already just did thank you Hey, what's up? How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, man, it's your boy Jesus Ortiz, the creative director for Geraldi Media, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, blessed Wednesday. I know, you know, some of us are still out there working. Some of us are here, you know, doing a show. But today, I, I didn't even want to be nothing about me, all right? I just wanted to make, I know you seeing right there, the title says, are you always a winner or do you always win? It was something that I just wanted to talk just few because like I said, once again, what I said, power, no push, power to power, right? So today is not about me. Today is about my boy, Andy Outdate. And I just want to give him a shout out. I mean, I met the guy. He's, he's a phenomenal mentor, a phenomenal guy, a phenomenal person. And I just want to show you a little bit of, of what he does. He is a, a motivational speaker. He has a book out. He's, he's doing a lot of things. He's out there with the power. He's out there pushing power to power uh, with Les Brown, um, Manny Lopez. Man, what's who else? Man, you name it. There's a lot a lot more out there so today i said i just want to make it a quick quick short video you know about this topic are you a winner do you always win i i, I you know so to me i'm just gonna answer you know i don't think we always a winner we in our mind we're like we always have to win but that's not the case sometimes you have to lose sometimes you have to give up some things so you can make it to the top and sometimes that stuff is what we don't want to do we don't want to lose we don't want to lose you're like oh no i'm always gonna win 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 you just like the song you know win win and win but sometimes we don't always win that's what it is do you always win no you don't always win you sometimes you lose and some people don't understand that some people think that that that's hard right there that just because you lose you're gonna give up or you just end up being like oh man i lost man i lost I, I mean i was doing this project and i invested this money in it and nothing went right everything went wrong i lost all this money so now you see something right there you saw what did you did wrong what went wrong in the project or what was it that you ended up not doing right in, in the project if it was by yourself or with a partner or with somebody else and you lost and you sit down back and see it sit down and see what you did wrong and see that you will not make that mistake again so next time you win again and then win again and win and then you, you're gonna lose and then you're gonna lose there's this it's it's the life it's a life and it's the life that you're not always are going to win and if you don't believe in me I mean, sorry, if you don't believe in that, that, that you not always going to win, well, please comment below, you know, comment below and, and let me know what you think about, what you think about, do you always going to win? I know that our mindset is like, oh yeah, just like mine and yours. Oh, I'm always going to win. There's nobody stopping me. There ain't nobody out here telling me what to do. I'm not, that's true. Do what you got to do. Believe in yourself and push yourself out there and whatever family, uh, People think about you in the head of you. It's all right because you're focused, laser focused on what you're doing. But you're not always going to win. Remember that. Remember that you're not always going to win. And I know we want to win always. But it's good 
to lose sometimes because that's when you learn what you did wrong and then you become more powerful on those things that you didn't win so next time you can teach others not to lose on that same way that you lost and then you become better because you're like oh i'm definitely not making the same mistake next time because i already sat down look what i did wrong on this this stuff that i already lost and i'm not giving up it's something that i lost even if i lost money or it was just something that that you lose because a friend friendship um somebody that it was really close to you and you lost you know the the talking to them because you're doing things that that they're better for yourself and they want to go out there and party you know there's so many ways that that you can call that losing you know either you lose of your business you know something that like i said you lose money in your business because you did a, a wrong marketing mm, thing you know you you didn't market yourself right you or just wasted so much money here you didn't know what you were doing you just threw the money you lost that's fine just fine that's fine because you're testing the waters out so let's it's good to test the waters out here and there because you find out okay this didn't work that didn't work that didn't work but this one did and this one did you know what let me run this three on, on youtube on instagram on facebook let's do it and i know this time i'm not gonna lose because i lost on the other ones but i was testing the waters and it's the same way with anything else you lose a friend you lose somebody well you can talk to them again and be like how what happened what happened what why did we lose our friendship what what did i do to you or how can we make it happen that we can become friends again and sometimes it might be that hey you're not going to be friends with them no more because they're still on that same mindset that they want to go out there party drink and 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 invest money on the on the wrong things then then what you want to do you want to invest money on the right things so you could create more money and help others you know and 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 create wealth and everybody wants to create wealth be rich or, or live a different lifestyle we are different we are humans we all have all different lifestyles that we want to live and that's fine that's perfectly fine all right and i hey <laughs> like i said i just wanted to talk about a little bit about this because it's not about me today it's about my boy andy out there i'm pushing power to power today so today i'm gonna show you a little clip about him he just did i'm not gonna show you the first episode he did because it's like an hour and something but i'll definitely show you that on on um on my uh what's it called on my page on the, what is it the wash the party watch party whatever it's called in, in facebook i will put that out there so you could see that but today i'm showing you his what is it a 30 second clip of what he's doing of his show the progression show then i'm gonna show you a little interview he did with somebody you watch it and that'll be the end of tonight i didn't want you you know for me today i just wanted you to see and know who's my boy andy out there i hope when you finish watching this you can follow him and ask him any questions you see he don't even know i'm doing this for him and and i'll tag him when i i, I see him and i'll tell him to see this because hey he's my boy i seen him from when i met him last year to what he's doing right now woo, man powerful things man powerful things and i need to i need to talk back to him he's he's in, in speaking and doing all the things that i love to do too so so that's that's one thing when you love something you know somebody's doing it why reinvent that wheel go out there build a relationship connect it and talk to them and see what you can do and talk to them hey how can we work something out i want to be on the stage i want to do this what can i do this before i hit the stage what can i do what can i follow you in here and there can can i go and, and to the network meet events that you go and and meet the right people you're meeting whom it's it's a lot of things and we go back to it you don't always win sometimes you have to lose to get to the top and it's not only once you will lose so many times and that's fine but i know some of us can can get that and be like i don't want to lose but hey take it take it learn it grab it throw it away and be like boop i learned it it's never gonna make i'm never gonna make that mistake again <laughs> hey well i'm gonna let you i'm gonna show you that little clip and after that little clip is jumping in into his uh one of the he uh it's a show he show just like me he's um interviewing somebody it's like an eight minute so i want you to watch the whole eight minutes if, if it's fine for you uh, i know you, if you're watching it live you already know number one you're watching the replay number two and share it and and also if you haven't liked my page please like my page um any questions you got about me please comment me below um ask me anything you want on any of my videos that you got there or anything that i need to do better or, or you have an idea for me hey jesus this 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 you could have done better 
do it man i'm here with my ears open i'm here to listen to you guys and make everything that i'm doing better and like i said i'm still learning i'm still growing like you guys everybody's learning and growing every day so we make every day a better day yeah every day a better day and you not always win remember i'm here for you guys and and last of all before i jump in the clips because i want you to watch this my boy andy um if you watch my commercial if you want to um if you're here in houston and if you need live stream video live to your company or if you're uh agent um a real estate agent whatever you do here in houston you got a small company please reach to me at 832-739-0420 i want to help you out i want to let people know who you are we're gonna live stream video on your business so people know who you are they're gonna see you we're gonna go live so my audience and the audience out there that start coming in and seeing what's your story what's the story of you behind you behind what is your business all right so let me know and i'm trying to help no not trying i'm helping small businesses that they're always in and the medium and large businesses too but now i'm pushing to help you guys the small the small business owners that have a small budget come to me talk to me comment here below if you know anybody that needs this help let them know you you already know live streaming is powerful and it's is not gonna go over it's gonna get better and better so please let them know that i hear jesus ortiz from geraldine media it's gonna help them out with the live streaming video all right and it's gonna be phenomenal like this i know how to do the the video production i got swisher i can't the switcher studio and this you seen it i'm doing it, i'm using it right now and in my other videos go check out my other videos you haven't liked my page go out there and like my page and, and comment me like i said and 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 tell your friends about it all right <laughs> and i'm gonna leave it to you all right just leave those comments Shit, like my page if you haven't liked it and if you need help from myself i'm, I'm ready i'm here comment below and let me know when we can see when we can have a meeting um and also Call me, 832-739-0420. Text me or call me, all right? But it's enough for me, and I leave it to y'all for my boy, Andy, 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 out date. And I, I will let him know to watch it, you know, that I'm pushing power to power. And here he goes, guys. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time. You don't always win. All right, remember that. <laughs> Woo! Man. That was my target, one yes, million dollars. We have an event tomorrow. It's game time. Do you want to see what it's really like? Here's my point of view. That was my target, one yes, million dollars. We have an event tomorrow. It's game time. Do you want to see what it's really like? Here's my point of view. I'm very fortunate to have right now in front of me, Jordan Connect. Welcome to The Progression Show, where Jordan is gonna teach you how to embrace the chase. Thank you for being on the show, Jordan. Of course, man, thanks for having me. Appreciate so, it. So right now, the Progression Conference, a conference that I hold yearly, is happening in the other room. And Jordan and I, both speakers, stepped away from the room just to have this interview. So Jordan, tell me, what's your story, brother? My story is absolutely intense, man. I've, I've built several successful companies and then I lost all of them. And it brought me down to this lowest point in my life where I had to truly figure out what were my strengths and how to run with those and build everything back up. So tell me an, an instance where that actually took place, like the, 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 the successful business and then it falling apart. Yeah, of course. So in 2016, December 31st, I married the love of my life, Kelly. Uh, we're still married today, uh, love her to death. And I remember when she was walking down the aisle, I had to uh, <clears throat> just uh, understand and digest the fact that her father was handing her to me and I was in charge of this, yeah. charge of this woman for the rest of my life and our kids. And we went on our honeymoon and uh, at this time, uh, we were doing very, very well, had a six figure plus company, uh, partners all over the world, it was really exciting. And I remember there was one specific day where we were sitting on the beach, you know, it was a really hot day. I remember sweating profusely and I could smell the, the, the salt coming off from the ocean. And I get this text, you know, bzz, my phone's buzzing, I look down mm. uh, and it's a text from my brother. And it just said, dude, did you hear what happened? And I remember just like feeling all of the, the blood run out of my body and just feeling sick and then being like, well, wait, what is going on? I, I didn't know if somebody died back home or what was going on. I text him back and I'm like, what, what do you mean what happened? And he said, Dusty, dude, he ruined everything. Like it who's, fell apart. Who's Dusty? He was my business partner. Okay. 
And I'm like, whoa, hold on. Uh, I, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to call you. And I could feel cold all over my body. I remember it was a hot day out and I had to look at my wife and, and put a, a, a front on. Like, hey, babe, everything's great. I'm going to run upstairs real quick. Uh, I'm just going to call my brother just to see everything's going back home. Mm. Uh, trying to hide this from her because I was uh, scared and ashamed. I didn't know what was going what on. What do you think would have happened if you told your wife, Kelly? Honestly, I don't know. I it probably would have started our marriage off on the wrong foot because she was under this impression and so was I that we had a very strong, solidified, successful company and we were going to start our marriage off, you know, on the right foot, not struggling, not hurting. Mm. But um God had a different plan for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I went upstairs and I called my brother. What was your, what was your company? What, 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 was his, what was that actual business? So we did sales um, for a company called Amway Global. Okay. So I worked with them for about five years. Is that the multi-level marketing? Company? It is multi-level marketing. Gotcha. So we had a team of close to 100 people. You had a downline um, of over, over we about did, 100 people? <clears throat> yep, producing well over six figures in sales a year. Wow. And then some. Um, and my business partner, who was my upline, did some shady things and uh, pretty much... Everybody quit. About eighty percent of the people quit in a that matter in of your downline? two days. Yep. While we were on vacation. So so is does he run your is he like a, a leader in your downline then? No, so like the way it worked with an Amway was like you built your team and you trained them, but your upline kinda like Les Brown, let's say, for instance, would still come around and edify you and say, Hey, I've taught them how to do all this and you then turn around and edify them. It would be as if while you were gone on vacation, less came into one of your events and just tore everybody apart, tore them down so oh, they were the okay, worst, gotcha. that they didn't know what they were doing, um, and then ended up doing some other shady stuff that so, they shouldn't so, have done. So, so that's people lost trust because I had been edifying someone who should not have been edified. Gotcha. Um, so therefore they lost trust in me, which is what was the most devastating part, was to come back and not only lose the income, but lose all these people who trusted me. Wow, gotcha. And then so now how do you go back up? Like how because you know this is called the progression show. I host the progression conference and the progression mastermind. So how did you progress from that situation to come back up? It's a great question. You know, I got back home and I immediately knew that you know I had another source of income, which is my full time position, and I had to do everything I could in that to succeed. Um, which that's kind of irrelevant from here. But while I was doing that to produce for our family. I started thinking back on my life, you know, what were things that I was good at? What was I successful at? What, what is something that I could use to my advantage? And I was trained in off-Broadway theater growing up. What's that, off-Broadway? So off-Broadway theater is basically you're a professional actor, okay. just not on Broadway. So I did musical theater. Is, is Broadway what happens in New York? Yeah, right. specifically in New York is Broadway. Okay, gotcha. So being a professional actor anywhere but New York is off-Broadway. Really? Okay, so you were off. Yeah, and yeah. You, you were just not in New York? Not in New York. So okay, basically gotcha. I was a professional actor. Okay, so you are a professional actor, and then what happened? Um, you know, I started really thinking about it, and it was the fact that I was good with people. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to start interviewing successful people, general successful people, and try and learn from them. And maybe along the way, I'll end up figuring out something that I'm good at. And the irony was I already knew what I was good at. And from interviewing all these people, I realized I had to double and triple down what I was already good at. And since then, I've been able to produce a consulting company yeah. that is probably about this close away from producing you know, about ten grand a month. What is and what do you consult on? So it's embrace the chase. People are literally just you know coming to me, help, having me help them create podcasts, teach them how to to network and consult with people, and then also I do finance and investing. So I help people as well create long term pictures for retirement for themselves. Okay. So what does that actually mean? Embrace the chase. I know this. I just brought you up on stage a few minutes sure. ago talking about embrace the chase. But to the founder, what does that actually mean? Embrace the chase. It means that life's going to throw you negative things. It's going to throw weird things your way, and you have to learn to overcome them and just embrace it. Life is always going to uh, have its challenges, its ups, and its downs. And if you don't hit it face on and just love absolutely every second of it, mm -hmm. you're going to be miserable. You're not going to create an impact. Uh, nobody will remember you. Gotcha. So the chase is the hunt for your objective? The chase is the line in between the day you were born and the day you die. Wow. So embrace what goes on during that line. Yep, and make a difference. And make a difference. <clears throat> make a lasting impact. Make a legacy. Okay, make a legacy. How are you making a legacy? Oh, that's a great question. Well, I'm trying to create the system to be more than myself. So getting JV partners and, and kind of creating this system, I don't really know the best way of stating it, but uh, similar to what Manny's doing with from Orphan, the CEO, I want to be able to take uh, the lessons and that just I've learned so, from Just so you people. know, he's talking about Manny Lopez, yeah, yeah. who is t taking orphans and teaching them how to be entrepreneurs and making them to CEOs. 
and, he, and that's Manny Lopez's cause. And Manny, if you s Google search Manny Lopez and India date, you'll find our our interview. So what do you what how, how are so, you? So from hearing thinking? Manny speak this weekend, and obviously from going to some other conferences talking about creating a for purpose business model, which is a hybrid of a nonprofit in your business. Um, the thought of legacy has really made me think, okay, it's less about me creating something to, to support my family and impact people's lives, but creating something that impacts more into the community and can run without me. Okay, so I like what you. Manny's doing. I'm trying to find a way to either partner with him or create something similar. Okay. And what is your vision for the world? Vision for the world? I want people to be educated and not have any obstacles of being educated. So essentially, um, not everybody understands how money works. Not everybody understands how to communicate with people. Yeah. They're not taught these things in school. And I want to be able to put that together in a streamlined system or partner with somebody who is doing that so they have access to this for free. Man, that's powerful. Why would you even care about doing that? Because at the lowest point in my life, it was recognizing that people had done that for me. And had they not, I wouldn't have been able to rebuild everything back. Gotcha. So, so you, had extra, you had extra support to help you grow. Yep. Okay. So what's next for Jordan Connect? What's next is to just keep growing, keep producing, and keep building this business and make it bigger and bigger to make a, a greater impact. Shoot. Thank you for being on the show, Jordan. Thanks, man. Thank you. Hey, I hope you liked it. It wasn't long. It was at eight, nine minutes. My boy Andy, Andy, Andy Outdate. Um, thank you guys for watching it. And um, once again, if you want to be on my show, the Jesus Ortiz Diary Show, if you stayed up to the end, please comment below and let me know so we can set up a day and we can have you in my show, the Jesus Ortiz Diary, Diary Show, Teaching for Success. And you'll be my guest and we'll talk about storytelling. We're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about what you do. We got to tell. It's right there. It's just storytelling. Telling the people out there your heart struggles. Everything that you have done to where you at now. Ooh, hey. Don't forget, man. Follow me on my Facebook as Geraldine Media. And if you haven't liked it, please like my page, Geraldine Media, and share it. And check out my videos. And like I said, again, comment below. Anything that you want to comment me, please comment. Do so. I will read them. I will, I will uh, write you back. Don't worry about that. And also on my Instagram, Get a Lead Media. And there too, you got any comments, please comment me. And I will answer them back. All right. But that's it, man. Today, the show. Then, <laughs> nah, because this is not the show. The show is going to be basically the Jesus Ortiz Diary Show, Teaching for Success. I'm just bringing guests. That's it. And here, in and um, I'm bringing the guests here and in my page, the Geraldine Media. This is where you're gonna go. The show and this. I was gonna do this. This is Ortiz, the creative director. I'm gonna bring you this. It is some commercials. Bring you a little bit of a topic. Maybe another commercial here and there, and give you other young entrepreneurs just like me hungry and other entrepreneurs that are already making it that are already successful and show you their shows and show you what they're doing and you can see that all right i'm pushing power to power ain't stopping i'm gonna keep on doing that so if you want to be uh you want me to <clears throat> have your commercial here in my show and in here in well i have to call it something here because this is going to be the Jesus Ortiz is the creative director. And I'm going to show just nothing but entrepreneur pushing power right there. Pushing power to power. Let me know so I can put your commercials and people will see what you do. You sell cars. You're selling services, products, whatever it is. Let me know. And let's talk about it. It's going to be a small fee on it too. I just thought about that last time. I said, man, let's put that in here. Put those commercials so other people. Because I know people are watching it live. It's real life. And they're going to see you with your commercials. What you do. And they can contact you. And get your product service or whatever you do. And then we get back to business. To myself. To the topic that I'm talking today. Any education on things that I got to say. And then boom. We go back to the entrepreneurs. Businessman, businesswoman. And show you what they're doing because i am pushing power to power and remember you never you remember <laughs> you are and <laughs> see that's why when you go live things happen remember you sometimes don't win remember the, the the topic was do you always win or are you always a winner 
remember that you sometimes have to lose to gain more control or more winnings and get to the top but lose lose learn see what it is that you uh, fail pass it over here and move up and learn it and don't make that mistake again and that was a last that was a a, a, a lose that you made you didn't win but you learn it and you can help others to not make the same mistake and then you can keep on moving to the top all right keep on moving to the top remember remember that man you don't always going to win all right but i hope you like the show i hope you like uh andy out on the outdate and uh, um go out there and motivational speaker has his book go get his book i haven't gotten it yet andy so i definitely have to go get that go get his book read it and i know i know him personally so please see him like his pages share them and comment comment anything you want and ask him anything you want and i'll let him know that i did this for him push power of power and you don't always win your boy jesus ortiz the creative director is out i love you much love to all of you from my heart god bless and i'm out this jesus ortiz this original has ended.